you know, they say songs come to you and, and you know, through your hands and dreams and in prayers and some are gifts. And this song is a gift that we're going to sing. It was, it was written by someone else. It's a song that I wish I had written, but I feel as if I've written it every time I sing it. <clears throat> it was a song written by a um, protest, what they call protest songwriter, uh, Peter Lafarge. I say he just wrote the truth about what he saw in, his, in the world in his world that surrounded him and what he thought, um, you know, the governments during his time were doing to Native people. And, and um, I was invited to sing as background vocalist <clears throat> on a recording of a tribute to uh, Peter Lafarge's life. And, um, and this uh, album project uh, featured John Densmore from The Doors. You're probably too young to know who The Doors are. <laughs> oh, baby, I'm on fire. Right? Do you know that song? I knew you were too young to know. Hmm. OK, there's some old heads over there you might know. Let's go ahead. So <clears throat> this album project is now part of the Smithsonian's uh, National Museum of the American Indians Library collection. And it was also um, an introduction to the museum um, with our work, and since then, our albums, uh, Skin Talk, and um, in the Garden of Love Songs of William Blake, which we have to hear today, is also part in, of the museum. One, one is in the library collection, and the other is uh, part of the exhibit of where we belong, the musicians and popular culture. Um, so that's a great honor. <coughs> and. Um, this particular song I'm sharing with you is a song about Indian boarding schools. Um, and I don't know if many people know this, but there was a time when there was a government mandate to remove Native American children from their homes. Um, and it lasted for about 70 years. And where names were changed, um, languages were taken away, forbidden to speak their home language. And if they were, if they were caught, it would be how to pay, and um, and how through this mandate we still manage to rise, and still we rise and we survive it. And there are many, there are many who did not survive, um, but the elders who uh, live to tell the stories today, whenever they hear us perform this song, they ask me to keep singing it, so I'm singing it for everyone. <coughs> and so they, you do have a singing part, and it goes, there are drugs. Can you do where there are drums? There are drums! There are drums! There are drums! Yeah, there are drums. So I'll do. And there are drums! There, there are, are drums! Beyond the mountain! There, there are, are drums! Okay, is that good? I don't think it worked that hard. <laughs>
Well, it's a long time and she quiet and to wake and sitting bold and this man is all around us with his sleeves so red. See?